New Tunnel is the latest generation pickup that will be coming out of Photon China. So it's a very exciting product for us. It's been in the making for the last four years and we've been working very closely with the engineers from China. We've made a number of visits here to, to South Africa to try and understand what the South African consumer wants in a pickup. Uh, it's the first that Cummings will be producing a small Cummings diesel engine uh, and from the testing that we've done it's a magnificent engine and it's just going to add to the overall uh, pleasure of driving this new Tunland. This vehicle we also believe the new Photon Tunland will change a lot of perceptions around Chinese vehicles. As we, turn it, as we term it internally, it's a game changer for us. Uh, this vehicle is really a vehicle that's going to shift the minds of people and, and, and the ability or the understanding of what a Chinese product can do. Uh, we, we're happy with, with everything that we've got. We believe it's ideally positioned to suit the market here in South Africa. Nice and powerful, lots of room, lots of space and a really good looking vehicle as you can see. The new Photon Tunland will fit into the high-end vehicle market. And what I mean by that, it will be competing with the likes of, of the more established brands that, that we know here in South Africa. But obviously from a price positioning point of view, we need to understand that it is a new entry into the segment. But specification, performance, power is everything that you would find in the, in, the, in the more established brands here in South Africa with a high-end double cab market. The Tunland from a build quality perspective is up there with the best along with the performance as we've seen. So it is there, the performance, the build quality, but from a price positioning point of view, it's going to be an attractive offer. So those looking for a, a nice high-end pickup, this will be something that they need to have a look at. So yes, we put together a comprehensive team. It consists of a number of different people with different specialities. So firstly, we have a 4x4 team that is here to help us, ensure that we, we tackle the path in a safe way, uh, to ensure that we follow the key safety uh, functions of a 4x4 vehicle, as well as if we do get into difficulties, how we recover the vehicle. And that is key. We have to take safety very, very seriously when we do an outing like this. Then we have two uh, media people, one from a magazine uh, and one from a TV uh, show, and they're here to shoot their story, um, which is going to be interesting for us to see how they interpret what we will do over these next few days. Uh, we're then going to be shooting uh, a documentary and then obviously from all the filming we will put together an amazing 30 second TV commercial uh, that we will obviously use for flighting in South Africa uh, to promote the, the, the Photon Tunland when we launch it. We have our partners from China here as well to understand, uh, to see firsthand how we go about bringing your vehicle to the market and also to get some technical information. You know, we're operating in very, very extreme 4x4 conditions uh, and they want to gather some of that information to be able to make sure that we can build some of those elements into the car which are going to support the people that buy our product to go out and do these adventurous uh, 4x4 outings. What we'll also be shooting here is a lot of the still photography, which we'll use in our brochures, we'll use in our print advertisements, uh, and we'll use on our website as well. Yeah, we've done, uh, we've done a lot of uh, uh, different shots, as you say. Um, a lot of tight shots, a lot of close-up shots, a lot of long shots, a lot of driving shots, a lot of uh, static shots as well. For, for the TV and for the brochure. What we're doing now is we're setting up uh, probably one of the hero shots for the brochure. This is a, a Vista shot, basically showing where the Tunland has come from and where the Tunland can take you. Um, so beautiful scenery here, uh, lots of mountains, a lot of, lot of uh, landscape to break up the shape of the vehicle. So this is, this is gonna be a nice shot. As you can see, we are in a beautiful place here the water behind us, the mountains all around us, and, and we need to conserve this. And I think for us it's, it's very important, and part of our preparation coming to do this trip here in, in Lesotho is, is how we're going to safeguard nature and make sure that we don't damage what we have an opportunity to use today. So we've taken a lot of planning, a lot of consideration to what we're going to do. We're very mindful of, of the environment in which we're going to do this exercise, and we, we're here to make sure that we can preserve it as much as we can. And we're going to take things slowly to make sure that we're in a position to do that. This is not a race, uh, this is an exercise that we want to do slowly and make sure that we can conserve this beautiful environment that other 4x4 uh, enthusiasts have an opportunity to use like we are today. To me the Baboons Pass is a 23 kilometer obstacle with the difference that there is no escape routes. Once you enter the Baboons, you're there, you can't turn back. It's a test of survival of the vehicle, the people, dependability and most of all patience. If you haven't got patience, you'll break the car, you won't make it. Yeah, we've been going for about an hour now. Uh, it's been quite interesting and uh, there's been one or two areas that are, are quite nerve-wracking. But I'm told we haven't even really started. Uh, the tough stuff's yet to come, but the vehicles are performing 
beyond my expectation at this stage and I'm going to be really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen a bit later. I'm very surprised. The, um, I thought we would have lots more trouble with the, with the fact that there's no diff lock or limited slip diff. But I think the combination of the engine and the low ratios of the, the gearbox and the, the wheel articulation is just we've just crawled up anywhere and uh, very little trouble so far so the real tough part is supposedly starting now so now we'll really see I must say I'm impressed, I'm, I'm really impressed uh, especially with the suspension never bottomed out the wheel travel at the back is amazing it, it just takes it in its stride, you know, very smooth you know, not a lot of body roll, which, which, which I like you know, you feel like you're sitting comfortable it, it, it's, it's a real nice ride and uh, yeah, so far very impressed but still to come, extreme stuff, so let's see Well, we've just come up Yeehaw Hill and I can see why it's called that. I mean, I'm elated that we've got the three vehicles up here. Uh, it's stuff that I never thought we'd be able to get the vehicle up. When we stopped at the bottom and the guys said we're going up there, I just looked and said, well, it's impossible. And here we are at the top. It's unbelievable. It really is. Yeah, it's a, quite, I mean, quite amazing day, long day, and there were stages that I thought we're not going to get up here, and uh, it's a difficult thing between the momentum and uh, you know, not damaging the vehicles, but I think we, we got there eventually, and the, the guys who helped us get up, we we here, yeah, it's amazing, I, I, I respect for the cars grand leaps and that. We are not going to be able to do it, because it was not able to do it. En ons gaan ook iets sê dat die bakkie niks oorgekom het nie. Hy het een paar merke en skete en skrape, wonde van die slagveld. Maar het is tijd om te besef dat die tuinlijn is beslist. Nie net een goeie, sê nie is een bakkie. Die tuinlijn is nou een goeie bakkie. Ja, yeah, I'm delighted, I really am. I mean, it's been an absolutely amazing experience coming up here. I mean, I just, I cannot believe that we actually got the vehicle up. It really is rough. And I, you know, from all the, all the reading that I did prior to this, coming out and doing this exploration, uh, I understand some of those articles are a lot better now. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's not for the faint heart, and it's, personally it's not for me, I, I really, I, I, when I looked at some of those places, obstacles that we had to go over, I, I closed my eyes, I just thought there's no ways we're going to get our vehicles over, but yeah they are, there's the proof, uh, we have three at the top of the, of the mountain, and uh, I, I'm delighted. 